Today we're going to be kicking off our retail store renovations. We're going to go ahead and start with a pondless waterfall rehab. Let's go! everybody Chris from Team Aquascape what you just saw was the initial plan of attack to go ahead and get this renovation underway they've scrubbed all the rocks got them all nice and clean got all the scale buildup that's accumulated over the years and they've also pulled out all of the old small gravel and put in some new gravel to give a much better representation of what it'll actually look like outside in somebody's yard now on to the next step we are going to be replacing all of the existing white lights with color changing lights but the biggest and best part of this renovation is going to be pulling out out the one sphere and putting in a spillway bowl to add just a new element and a fresh facelift to this project. Yo, I'm going to hand the camera off to Garrett so that he can do a good job of taking you through this process and I'm going to take myself back into the sandbox and start working on a project that you are not going to want to miss. Stay tuned for that one. Have fun with these guys. Hey everybody, Garrett here. We are in the retail store at Aqualand and we are about to start taking apart some spillway bowls. Right as we're gonna get started here, we got our most important steps kind of underway. We can see that we've got liner down to protect everything in the store that we've got ready. We've got some of our materials, extra materials, so we don't have to run and grab them later if we need them. And there we go, that's the fern. We're gonna show you kind of just taking it apart, removing it. This is great if you're interested in updating a water feature, um, tearing out something in, putting something new in, showing off how your skills have developed, but we will get to it. And you can see the first step here, we've got it turned off so we can go ahead and start disassembling it. And that's as easy as just unplugging the pump right there. So they freed the sphere from the plumbing there, slid it right off the top. There's the bones under the sphere there. So here's the sphere, free and clear. Roy is working on step two here, which is getting some of the water out of the top of that basin. Usually we'd use something like a clean out pump here, but since we're working inside in our retail store, we're a bit more limited. So Roy's working all by hand to get some of that water out of that top basin so we've got a little bit more room to work with. So we found an area we liked for the base of the spillway bowl. That's the fellas bringing it in now. We made sure to dig back and level the area where that little stand was going so we have a nice even base for the, the bowl to sit on. So what Josh is going to do is removing the inside plumbing on the spill bowl so that we can just basically use the one inch stiff PVC pipe and have it come up and then we'll trim it so that uh, it doesn't stick way up. 
and then silicone it on the bottom since the liner is going to capture any small drip that may come from the bottom. All right, and now we're going to do the plumbing for the spillbo. Uh, we were able to find our destination spillbo where it's going to be at. We got the right height on it. We uh, also leveled it with some flat stones here. And uh, the, what we did is we dropped the rock through the opening right there that fell through. So that's the dead center of the spillbo. We're going to now plumb it. We'll remove the existing plumbing, cut that out. We're going to put an elbow here, a uh, small piece of pipe going there. And then we're going to reconnect it with the original PVC pipe that they had going up and then we're going to trim this in the right height. So that's uh, the, pretty much the last step for the plumbing and then we'll obviously do some adjustments with this valve that are, and also we have two to four aqua surge pump in there so we'll be able to do the adjustments on that. All right. Everybody, we've got our spillway bowl all set. It's looking nice and level. So now we're thinking about turning it on. Before we turn it on, we wanna make sure that we're gonna get exactly the kind of flow that we want. And you're gonna find our spillway bowls are gonna come with a piece that looks just like this. This is gonna fit right into the bottom of that spillway down in there. And that's gonna make sure that the water, when it's coming in, isn't coming in too fast. And it's not gonna swirl around in the top of the bowl there. But we've tucked our spillway bowl in, we've leveled it, we've got some lights in there, and we are getting ready to to turn it on. So the guys, Garrett, Roy, Josh, and Seth have finished up the area behind me where the sphere was located and they ended up putting a spillway bowl in up at the top and it looks absolutely incredible. They also added the colored lights and just this whole area is, for everything virtually saying 90% the same, looks completely different just with that simple little facelift that they did. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Look at these color changing lights. They added a four and a half watt color changing light that sits behind this strip wood that highlights this bottom waterfalls looks absolutely stunning. They added lights in all the respective cooling areas, but look at that spillway bowl, how it nestles in just behind that piece of driftwood. I love the angle that the spillway bowl drops in to that upper pool, how it's not facing directly towards the viewing area. And then it does like a 90 degree turn, twists and turns, comes down through here. It just looks just so stunning. And it fits the area perfectly. It's at the appropriate height back there. It's not too tall, it's not too low, to where it provides like the most amount of visual impact without looking obnoxious. I love the lights, love it. I love all the new gravel that they put in here to replace all that small gravel. Looks like they scraped off all the rocks and really, really made a huge difference just in the overall cleanliness. There's a little bit of scale on them still, but they just look so much better than they did. They were almost white from all the scale because of the hardness of the water. Let me come up here. This is probably my favorite part of the whole feature itself. And it's those wavy marks that you see on the backdrop of that water wall right behind it. That's being caused not only by this light hitting the front of the bowl, hitting the ribbon, water coming down, because you can see how that's kind of flickering on the front of the bowl, but there's also a light inside the bowl back there, and that's what's causing a majority. And look at, it's like a prism of light, seeing different colors, even with the green. It's making the color look almost orange in certain areas and yellow, and it just looks so awesome. But what I love is just the movement, the dancing beams of light that will inevitably go all the way up when it's super dark in here. Just pay close attention to those things. Those are that stuff that we always preach when we're teaching other contractors how to do lighting. It's, it's how we critique ourselves. Oh, we went to orange now. That's what we're always trying to do is really take the lighting to its fullest potential. And this is carrying that light past the water feature into the landscape. And it just adds so much more value to the lighting itself. I love the spillway bowl. Absolutely love it. Got our pathway light along the side right here in the foreground. The spillway bowl looks incredible. They did a fantastic job of just giving this feature a facelift without completely redoing everything. And it looks completely different. Changing the gravel out, cleaning off the rock, adding the spillway bowl instead of the sphere, and the color changing lights just added double the value to this feature back here. So, so happy with how it turned out. While they were over here, they also added color changing lights to the bottom over here, but then also these core lights in the top of the spillway walls. Once we get this planted, we'll show you how those look. And 
once this deck is completely replaced because we've mitigated a lot of the splash but it wasn't after it, it had already ruined some of that decking so we're going to completely redo this take care of the turtle pond josh is over here overseeing everything how do you think the guys did man yeah i think that bowl really uh turned out good fits in there real nice so i'm glad we uh got rid of that spear it does it could it, like it looks brand new yeah right which i think is so cool and it was a very simple process it was only a couple hours of work for a few people um, so it's something that you guys can do to maybe as an add-on to your stream out there at home maybe off the edge of the pond but the color changing lights the spillway bowl changing up some of the gravel and just simply cleaning the rocks can really really bring your water feature back to life hey i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on how this happened please leave us a note in the comment section below we'll be sure to get back to you and answer any questions that you have hopefully you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you did as always Stay tuned in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time here on the Team Aquascape channel. Click the little notification bell so that you can stay up to date. You'll get a reminder every time we come out with a new video, you'll be able to enjoy it first. Till next time, we'll see you later. Chris, checking out.